Hey party people, this is Jeremy from Jumbo Lab Plays Games, and today I'm here with a, a live stream that I've decided to take from my Facebook page and bring it over here. Uh, this was recorded on on Sunday, uh, the 11th, and uh, we, did, we do solo Sundays at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I usually do them in a solo uh, board gamers group or my Facebook page, or under myself as Jeremy Howard. Now this game is Adventure Tactics, it's a one through five player game. You have to play three-handed if you're gonna play solo, uh, minimum. So uh, you're gonna be different characters and a kind of like a Final Fantasy Tactics-like situation uh, type gameplay. And you're gonna be playing cards from your hand, you're gonna be taking on different job systems and kind of changing your abilities and your hand as you go along, because this is a, a hand management hand, kind of like a deck builder-ish type game. And uh, yeah, you're gonna be making choices and what, what items you have will make you make different choices. It's got a cool system to it. But today's mission is ridiculous. I'm actually trying to score basically a touchdown with a baby and these wraiths and the goblins are chasing after me and I have to get that baby from one side of the board to the other side of the board. And you're gonna see how that works. I'm actually gonna die and lose, but I'm gonna finish out the mission to give you an idea of how it works and show you how the story develops and all the other classes and things like that. So you can go ahead and pan to the end if you feel necessary. And if you wanna see more content from me or maybe join me in my live stream, I am also a contributor to Man Vs. Meeple. You can go over to their Facebook page and that's where I'll be streaming my live playthroughs on Sundays, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. And with that, you can go look at my air-filled playthrough of this game right here, Adventure Tactics, I hope you enjoy. I have a lot of fun, but of course we all make mistakes. Go ahead and take a look. See you next time. Okay, so what we have here is we are on a quest, and the quest is basically a running quest where we'll take on the roles of these characters, our characters here, and we're trying to run down a path across this board to this finish line right here. And the finish line is actually where we're going to fight. We're going to try to get over there with our child of destiny across this board. Uh, we're trying to save this, basically save this magical baby here and uh, get them to the other side. And this game has a lot of cool little mechanisms as we'll get to along the way, but it's a very simple game to play. But I want to kind of explain these characters real quick so you can get an idea. I don't know why this is moved, but let's see here. It's supposed to be 7, 10, 13. There we go, 13. All right, let me move this back. All right. So you're going to have, uh, you have my rogue over here, and each character starts out as something. So mine was a rogue, and what happens is, is you develop them. So I've, I've kind of taken a liberty here, trust me. Um, you start with a rogue class. It has class features, and those change as you go along, too, because you're going to be a rogue in the beginning, but you become a better rogue. So you'll have different things that are added to your deck, and you also get skills. You also have a passive skill, which means, you know, hey, this is basically what a rogue is. And mine was nimble. Um, Nimble says I may move an extra square at the end of my turn. Pretty cool little thing there. Um, I also have a dagger throw, and there's also throws for distance, but generally I'm going to be a fighter. Then, of course, level two, what do I get? I get the famous backstab, and that's what we always want to have. And then finally, um, since you get to a certain point and you upgrade, um, you can upgrade or change your class, I evolve into an assassin. So I've gained some passive abilities and a new class feature. That's my, my deck there for, for the fighter. Now, I started out as a fighter, and then eventually I got to level 2 fighter. And then what happens is, is as you get through this deck, you can add, you add uh, health, but you also can add and subtract cards. But then you add Mighty Strike, and I'll show you how that works. But then I decided to change classes when I got to the, the third possibility, and I became a Barbarian. And a Barbarian is absolutely pretty nuts and also very risky. And then <laughs> I'm going to try to try to survive as that guy, but I don't know. It's going to be a little while. Um, and then we have the uh, wizard. So I started out as a wizard and I only leveled up and of course the wizard has all these little cool things here. Um, but he also has wild magic. All right, So wild magic is a kind of specific little thing here um, that adds an area effect to the damage. Um, and I don't have, okay, yeah I do. Okay, we're good to go. But that's pretty much it. What you're going to have in these, car, uh, these cards, and I'll just show you as we play, but what we're trying to do basically is make it from here to there. And these wraiths that are right here, they fight, and then they come back to this area when you, when you kill them. You also have these little, like, they're kind of like goblin guys. They are, you're, they're going to stop you as well. They kind of shoot from a distance. And then you have this big goblin harasser. I mean, let me get you a little closer here. Let's get you a little closer, right? So then you're going to have these goblin harassers, and that's the boss, one of the bosses for the board. Um, so, yeah, he's just one of the bigger ones that's harder to hit, and he has more health. But generally, the idea is, is like, we want to keep these wraiths off because they have massive attacks. 
And then we also want to kind of just kill off the little green guys because they stay away because the wraiths come back and we can run. Uh, but they also phase through people. <laughs> they, they appear right next to you. So you got to run because they hit hard. All right. And the whole idea is, is that we have a basic objective of getting over there, but we have another objective of, and this is the special objective, is to get everybody there. So a little bit of extra. You get extra rewards for doing so. So let's get to it. All right. If anybody has any questions, I'm late, so I want to play, and I want to play real bad. Let's play. All right. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and push this up. Everybody there. So... A little bit of extra, you get extra rewards for doing so, so let's get to it. All right, if anybody has any questions, I'm late, so I want to play, and I want to play real bad. Let's play. All right, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and push this up. All right. Everybody there. So a little bit of extra, you get extra rewards for doing so, so let's get to it. Okay. All right, now we're playing. Think. Okay, so at the start of your turn, you are going to draw up to your hand size. Your hand size is four. A lot of the stuff that you're going to see is going to be off screen. I'm going to have the cards off screen because I don't want to be flopping them in front of you, but I can also show you what I'm doing. Um, I'm also going to be in the chat down here in the bottom in my hand. Let me just make sure that everybody can see. And then boom, that way I'm available to you if I do have questions. Okay. So I'm going to get four cards, and I'm going to start with my initiative order. So I have my my row here, two, three, four, and I have four cards. Now on my turn, the first part I can take two actions, and the cards are really simple. They will have like they'll have attack and the type of dice you have. Remember, this is that prototype artwork, which is none on here. <laughs> and then you have your basic attack, which is indicated on your card. So it tells you what type of dice you roll, and I have a white and a red die for my attack. It also tells you how much that attack is, or so what the range is, and that's one, and how far I can move in a move, which is five. Can you see that? Sort of. Okay. All right. Then we have, so I have a whole bunch of attacks, and I don't really have a lot of moves. So, the big thing is that initially I can mulligan, and I don't want to mulligan because there's a lot of attacks in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, I'm going to discard one of these cards. Oh, no, I do have a move card. What I'm going to do is do a move. Okay, so this is I'm going to just do a basic move. Basic move is five for me. So I'm actually going to just turn around and knock this guy down. Okay, and that, no, I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and move one. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm at the beginning of this turn. It says I, at the end of my turn, I can move one square. So I'm going to go ahead and just move one square like that. Actually, I'm going to move one square like that. Okay. You got to make the move a little bit. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me just do that again. Jeez. One, two, three, four. Let's do that. Five. And then move one more space. All right. And then my second action, I'm going to go ahead and just take what is called a, like a little move set. I can discard a card to move half my movement. So I'm just gonna kinda one lane it over here. One, two, like that. Okay, and that will be my turn. Now the next person in initiative order is Roberta. Okay, and Roberta is going to draw four cards. One, two, three, four. And I said, like I said, I'm gonna be off screen when I do most of this. Let me go ahead and move back so I can see you guys. If you have any questions. All right, and let's see. This is what I'm going to do. I have a whole bunch of moves. So I have a mighty strike, and here you go. So the, uh, once again, the dice with, that you see on here, it says target is slowed. Those are going to be the status effect that you get, but basically I'm rolling those two red die, and uh, we'll talk about the distribution and then when I get there. They are also the baby car carrier. So this is the cool move that they have. The baby carrier is like the football carrier. If you have the baby, you can take it and pass it off to someone. Uh, if you're two spaces away. So you're going to watch a little football happen here. Okay, so here we go. I have a movement of four. So what I'm going to do is just move one, two, three, four. Okay, so basically I'm moving a little bit closer here. And the thing i got to worry about is, is that I have distance here, I have distance here, and they gotta, they got to come to me, which is possibly going to happen here. One, one, two, 
three, four. I think I'm going to move there instead. How about that? Okay. Okay. Baby carrier is good to go. That's movement. That's my basic move. That's one of my cards. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit off screen. Um, and then I'm going to do another move, which is four again. One, two, three, four. And I am one laning myself, but I want to be protected. Okay. Because now the bosses are going to go. And this is the coolest part of the game. Coolest part of the game is, is that you actually have a boss deck. So, you know, how do you fight these, these things here? You have a AI deck. Okay. And the AI deck is the boss. So it actually will tell you in the setup, hey, you know, pick this boss deck. And then uh, you, you take a card from the top for their move. I'm going to sh shuffle these. I don't think I shuffle them. And it's going to tell you what to do. Okay. So, for example, I have the Swarm of Sin. Rafe's move and make basic attacks. Okay, so the race just move. And what they do is, is they move a total of, and I'll kind of give you an idea here. So race move, basic attack. So here, in the beginning of the, in the scenario, you're going to have this book here. And it's actually going to tell you how to set things up. It tells you where the enemies are. And it also kind of gives you like, hey, this is the player amount, uh, what you're going to have here. But it also gives you like their, the, the, the enemy's intentions. Like, what are they trying to do? So... We're going to do that. So we are looking at the Wraith. And the Wraith is basically going to move a total of four movements. And they have a one range. They have four health because this is a three-player game. And then what they're doing is, is whenever they're defeated, their maximum HP, they automatically respawn. But their behavior is the child bearer. And they will continue. If they can't reach the child bearer, they'll just keep going until they can hit somebody. So they're looking for that child bearer. And they're going to go towards me. But since I'm not there, they're going to go at the wizard. One, two, three. All right. So they are next to the wizard. And unfortunately for the wizard, um, they roll a black die. So that really means that the wizard is not going to be doing well right away if he hits for big. So you have the black die, which is probably the most devastating. It has, uh, I think it's up to six pips on it. You have the red die, which gets up to five. You have the blue die, which gets up to five. And then the white die, which is kind of a healing die, gets up to four, I think. Yeah. So here we go. Black die, we want ones. We want ones. He only has eight health, so we, <laughs> we really need some. Oh, there we go. We'll take that two. All right, so he'll take two. He is down to six, okay? Um, they also have like, little weapons that you can use in different skills. So I could use my arcane shield and put it back in there. And that's the cool thing about these traits, um, these class features. So each character, I'll just show you his actually. The wizard has a thing called the arcane shield, all right? So as you actually change jobs or get higher levels, these may change and you can sub them in and out. As with these weapons, armor, accessories that you can have, it's supposed to go over there. Um, they also have abilities right here, like dice abilities, and they also have attack abilities. So there's all different types of things that are in here. This is so true RPG style. But I can use this and discard it. It will go back in my hand, I mean my deck, and then I can actually use it again. So I could actually, hmm, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm actually going to use this. I'm going to respond, and this is a reaction, so I'm going to go ahead and use it so I don't take that two damage. I'm going to roll a white die, because it was only two, and I ignore plus one, which is nothing. So there you go. I ignored all three, well, all two. All right, so now that goes and actually goes into my discard pile, and when it comes back out again, I can use it. Okay, so that was that one. He's going to move up one, two, three. They're going to just, all oh, four. They're just going to beeline towards me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. And now they're just, that's it. That's their turn. So now the boss is going to go again. Unfortunately, very easy game to play, by the way. Goblin Harassers and Goblin Champion move and make basic attacks. If the champion can use net on the child player, it uses the net uh, instead of making a basic attack. So what this thing is, is like it's a net where he can grab, um, he can like hold you down and stop you. And you do not want that to happen because it makes everybody get able to get closer to you. Now the go Goblin Harassers can move up to five places, but they have a range of five. And so they're not really going to move if they can hit. Okay, so what they're going to do... Let's see. They are going to, since they have a range of five, one, two, three, four. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's not going to move. 
Um, he's not going to move. Yeah, he's probably going to just move there. And they're going to shoot. Okay. So they're just going to take turns shooting at me. This one is going to move. Uh, the, the Hagaba Harasser is the champion. He's going to move three. Okay. Three. So, sorry. One, two, three. He is going to move one, two, three, four, five. He's going to be lying there. All right. And now we're going on attacks. So the Hagaba Harasser has white die attacks. We're going to start with MG1. MG1 is going to roll. He is going to attack me for three. I do not. Huh. I'm going to go ahead and take that. I have 17 health, so I'm going to go ahead and get down to 14. All right. And then Gobble Harasser 2 is 1. Okay. So, yeah, that's going to be 1. So he's going to attack me. That's going to be 1. That's 13. Okay. So there you go. That's his attack. Now. It's Merlin time. It's wizard time. Okay, it's wizard time. Here we go. Let's go ahead and dole out some spells. Now, generally, I am, I'm going out of my box today, and I usually play... Sorry. I usually play... I'm going to move this mic out of my, my face. I can't stand it right now. <laughs> All right. Sorry, guys. Um, usually, I play as a rogue. So I'm trying to go outside of my box here and play something different. So if you're like a wizard person, you are uh, like a ranger person, um, usually those are my two classes, ranger and um, rogue kind of kind of character. So I got my rogue, but I wanted to have my archer in there too, I should say. Okay, so my four hands, my four cards here are basic move, three basic moves, and uh, I mean, sorry, three basic attacks and a move. I don't have any, um, unfortunately, I don't have anything special to attack with right now, so this is what I'll do. I'll just go ahead and attack and get this guy off of me. Or I can move one, two, three. Hmm. If I move one, two, three, I can attack. Let's see. One, two, three, four away. Yeah, I can, I'm going to do that. One, two, three, I can attack. One, two, three, four. Oh, boy. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Um, I'm going to say, let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to move up. That's moving three. That's one basic move. So I got my one basic move. And then I'm going to do a basic attack, which is four away. And I'm going to attack with a red die, because that's my basic attack die, which is red. And I'm going to roll. So, whoa. Uh, it is going to be three. And it says, uh, no, once per turn, you may move additional, move, move diagonally. Hmm. Well, now that I forgot about that, once per turn, you may use one square to move. Oh, ooh, boy, that would have been sweet, huh? That would have been sweet. But, oh, well, all right, so he's going to take three damage. Okay, so the Wraith is going to have three damage. Once again, that doesn't mean anything unless I take him out. So he's got three damage. He needs one more, and that is round. Now, so once round is over, we shuffle these initiative cards. I'm going to get these back out here in a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and do a cleanup phase. Now, in the cleanup phase, I can actually get rid of a card. I'm going to keep these two cards for. I'm going to keep these two cards for him. Uh, let's see. I'm going to keep, definitely keep these two. These are my special ability cards, and I think. What did I? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got to create a mix-up back here. All right, make that one, two, ready strike here. I think these are it right here like that. Okay, I really want, oh, that's shank. These go over here. Sorry, guys, I'm back here realizing that I get a little bit too much going on. Okay, so I'm not going to discard any cards. I got basic attacks. Actually, I'm going to discard one card. And then what happens is, in the cleanup, you can discard a card so you know when the next round starts, you're going to draw your cards up to your maximum hand size, which is four. Okay, so I had two cards before um, with the rogue, and I'm going to draw two cards. I had two cards left over with the, the barbarian. I'm going to draw two more cards there. And then I also have this one right here where I, I only had one because I got rid of an extra one. So that's one, two, three. Now let's talk about some of the things that I can do. So 
these are all the different skills I have, and these are going to be my passive ones. So, like, if I, I, I'm nimble, so I can move one more square, that would be my assassin. Um, if no other characters are within three squares, you make two basic moves whenever you play a basic move. So, if I'm, like, by myself, I can kind of move out there fast and get out there on my own to cover more space, which I did not do to start my turn. But if there are no other characters within three squares, even, so there was somebody next to me. Also, I have a thing called backstab because, of course, rogue characters have backstab. But what happens is I must be adjacent to someone else. So that's kind of how you know that one. Uh, so the Barbarian <laughs> has something called Rage. It says if I have less than uh, max HP, I deal an additional white die to adjacent uh, targets, tar uh, damage to adjacent targets, and take an additional white damage from non-basic attacks. So i got to really pay attention to my, my to the basic attacks, and all these guys have basic attacks except for that harasser up there, that big one. So I'm good to go there. All right, let's go ahead and deal out initiative. Let's sh shuffle these up a little bit. Hopefully the bosses don't go first <laughs> so I don't get hurt so much. All right, here we go. Starting from the top. Boom, assassin. Boom, the barbarian. Uh-oh, we might have the same order again. Here we go. All right, okay. All right, so we know what's up. We know what's up. All right, so the Barbarian and Tolan are going to go first. We have Tolan and... So we got the Rogue. We're going first. Rogue is going first. What does the Rogue want to do? So the Rogue, since it can move five, we definitely want to get uh, over here and up in these guys' face. So that would be one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and I don't have anything to throw, do I? I have shank. I have dagger. Oh, here you go. I can do this. So what I have is a dagger throw. <laughs> and the dagger throw, I can throw um, up to four away. And it says a target up there. That's how I know it's four. All right. So I'm going to throw it four. I'm going to go up here, which is going to be my basic move. Okay. So I'm going to do my basic move, which is a five movement. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to face that way just so you get an idea of what's going on here. Um, actually, why don't I? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this move here. I'm going to roll this die. I need a big, big swing here for this one. All right, bing. What did I get? Two? Oh, Lord. Okay, so two to the... Uh, <laughs> Do it to this guy here. And they have a total health of, uh, the Hazmen have a total health of, these guys have a total health of three. So we definitely want to make sure we get get them down as fast as possible because um, they don't come back. So that's a good thing. All right. So now we have our, our Barbarian. Barbarian has a couple things for movement. They have, ooh, look at these. Basic move plus one in one direction. Um, you may move through other characters. Hmm. I'm thinking here. So I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to move, I'm going to play this basic move plus one so I can charge. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five. All right. I'd be next to this guy right here. Okay, that's my baby, right? By the way, guys, that's my baby. <laughs> All right. Maybe I should change it from a health to like a, a little thing like this. All right, we'll change it to that. I don't think I have a baby of destiny here. Okay, so I'm going to do it like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my Mighty Strike. So I'm going to use my Mighty Strike. So I roll two, two red. And it's probably an overuse, but I kind of want to give myself space from that guy um, for right now. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to roll two red. I'm trying to play some football, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much overkill. Kills the guy. All right, here we go. So... He gets killed, he goes back this way like that. So he, he basically regenerates, and he goes back. All right, he only has four health, but that's kind of how that works, unfortunately. So the boss does get to go. All that really does is it makes a one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, he can still get to me. Dang it. Okay, that's okay. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to use this right here right away. And I just want to make sure. I'm probably going to use that right away. So let's see. I have to look at something real quick. Just make sure I have that that quick rule down. It's a status move, so I'm trying to make sure I don't make something up on the fly. Hold on a second. Oh, come on. Uh, where we at? There we go. Two play 
it's there's no count, no subtraction. Okay, so hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm good to go. All right, so we have that. Now we have the boss. So we're gonna roll, we're gonna pull this out. So it says uh, we have goblin harassers and goblin harassers and here we go. I'm gonna try to line it up for you. Goblin harassers and goblin champion move and make basic attacks. Same thing. They're gonna be moving forward. Oh wait, that's from last time. There we go. We shouldn't have put that back on there. Oh, here we go. Boom. <laughs> They're still moving. So goblin harassers move. Um, they're going to move. So here we go. They're not going to move because they are the closest here. And they are the closest here. But I think since this guy's got five range, one, two, three, four, five, he's going to attack me. He's going to move up five. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three. They're trying to go straight towards me. Okay. And now we got these two guys here. They're going to attack. One, the first one's going to attack the rogue. And he has... A white die, since his is the closest hero. The, the attack, oh, by the way, no, they're both going to attack me. Closest hero. He is going to attack me for two. And the rogue doesn't really have any defensive skills um, or anything that he can do to dodge. The assassin, I should say. So that's kind of, I'm stuck with what I got. I got to kind of basically take care of myself here. And one. So he's down to um, 11, so now he's down to 10. All right. This game is not easy, by the way. It does come down to dice rolls, but there's also a lot of skill on how you do this. you got to play a little football. All right, here we go. All right, so we are going to move on to the wizard. Now, the wizard has, uh, let's see, what has he got? He's got a bunch of basic attacks. So he can attack from up to four range. So he's got to kind of get over here. One, two, three. I think he's going to do that. Okay. So he's going to basically try to kill both of these guys here. So he's going to do that basic move. And then he's also going to do an attack. And unfortunately, it's not an area of effect attack because that would have been really nice. But I can roll one red for four damage. And it's not going to be a miss, which thankfully there's no misses in this game. Um, I like that. <laughs> there's no misses. There's no whiffs. All right. So that takes out. One of our issues, okay, one of our issues, and now we are on to the boss. And the boss, they're going to draw a card. So we'll draw another card. Boom. And this is Rafe's, uh, Rafe's uh, move and make a basic attack. Goblin Harassers move. Goblin Harasser moves and makes a basic attack. So let's go ahead and move these first. One, two, three, four. He's not going to be able to attack me. He's too, too far away. Um, they're going to attack one, two, three, four. He's adjacent to me. He's going to attack uh, one, two, three, four. So as you can see, this is a game of very basic movement. One, two, three, four. And you're going to have to kind of at least one, two, three, four, five. All right. One, two, three. All right, and he's not even going to move because he can just shoot, so he's not going to move. I guess he can move one, but he's at his maximum range, so no. He can hit pretty much anybody from everywhere. Okay, so they're going to move, and Rafe will attack. This one cannot attack because it's actually here and I'm there. There's no diagonal attacks, and then we also have this one right here. So this actual, this Rafe, unfortunately is going to get to swing on me pretty hard here. So the Rafe has a black die. And since I am, uh, it says if if you are at least 20. Oh, goodness, this Barbarian is going to hurt. All right, so the Barbarian has a additional white damage. I hope I'm doing this right. If you're at least 20 points lower than you, uh, your maximum HP, deal an additional white damage to adjacent targets and then take an additional white damage from non-basic attacks. Okay, Okay, so now we're just at black here. So what we're going to do, this is the worst die. Oh, and he's going to take uh, a good six damage. So now what I'm going to do is basically use this right here. So like I said, this is a class feature, and it has two things on it. And this is the cool parts of the game. So as you pick these up and you level up your guys, they're going to have these different skills, um, these features that they can have. And usually they're cards that you can burn or use in response to certain things. So this one example right here 
is heal. So I can heal and discard this for the whole, the whole, um, basically the whole scenario. Um, and that, that's why this says this is a free action. Or I can discard this for right now and then heal red damage, which is what I'm going to do because I'm going to get hit for six. So I'm going to go ahead and just heal right away in reaction to that. And I'm going to go ahead and heal that damage. Now that goes in there and it can be playing like a card in the future. So we're going to do six. This has a max of five on the red here, so we want the five. We want four, so we're going to take two damage. All right, so now we're down to 11. Sweet, good, old, googly moogly, huh? That's no good. Okay. So now, as you can see, the world is starting to close in on me, and I need to run, okay? So hopefully, hopefully, this has happened before, I can play some football. <laughs> <laughs> I can play some good football. This is what happens. And you got to, I, I, Miss uh, Funkhauser did this with me. Mrs. Funkhauser did this with me, and we got our butts kicked. And for some reason, I didn't learn my lesson here. I keep getting these same same order here. Oh, boss, I didn't want that order. And then, <laughs> for Merlin, boss, oh, no, wow, we're really spread out. And she needs to be protected because she's last to go in initiative order. This is not good. So... That means we got to make a protection wall here. So what is he going to do? He is going to... Now I have to assume the racer is going to come and hit hard. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to move him. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get him with a basic move. So I'm going to draw back up to my hand size, which is four. Get everybody back up to their hand size back here behind the scenes. Okay. Ooh, I got the fireball coming up here from my wizard. I just got to live. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Got that fireball coming. All right. So I'm back to my rogue, and I can get a little stabby here from behind. But I want to use it for something that's important, because this guy right here, this boss guy, he has 10 health. So I really want to kind of just pound him. Okay. So what's going to happen is I have my dagger throw, which I can throw up to four away. That might be a good move. Hmm. I just don't want him to take any more damage. And I don't really know if I can prevent that. So what I can do, hopefully these don't trigger. So what I'll do is I'll move. Um, hmm. I really should have put it right there. So what I can do, this is a silly part right here. So I'm going to go ahead, range two. It says, range two, the child bearer may take an action to discard one card to make a hero within range two the new child bearer. A hero adjacent to the child bearer may take an action to discard one card uh, and become the new child bearer. Hmm. I may actually do that and make a run for it. I may play some football. You ready to play some football? Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a basic move so it will be half of that rounded down. Oh, man, I can't do it. Oh, yeah, I can. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and discard a card to make half my movement rounded down, which is 5. So it would be 2.5, which is 2. So I can move 1, 2. And then my second action would be to discard a card so that now I become the new child bearer. Okay. The reason why I'm doing this is because I can run really fast if I am by myself. All right? If I'm by myself and I get far enough, I can run really far. So that's what we really want to do. You're going to see how I try to pull this off, guys. All right. All right, here we go. So I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Here we go. So we flip it over. Garlin Thrashers and Champions move and make basic attacks. So they're about to pound me to death. I'm about to die. Um, it says, can use a net on a child bearer. Here we go. Probably shouldn't have gave it to him. Um, yeah, probably shouldn't have gave it to him. Yeah. You know, and the, and the crazy part is, is that I have this right here, and I could have just basically made him invisible for the round, which I didn't do. I probably could have just played that instead. And uh, that's Jeremy in a nutshell. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. Got my masters and make basic moves. He's not going to move. He's not going to move because he's right there. He is definitely going to move closer to me. And oh, he's going to move like one up closer, actually. 
They're not going to move because they're in range. They're not going to move because they're in range. Okay. And they're both going to take pot shots at me with this one die here. I have 10 health. I got to hope to God I make it here. Let's see. That's three. That's three. That's six. So now I'm down to four health. Notice I did not bring anybody with me here that, that heals. I'm just kind of going for it here. So let's see. So we have, we have uh, gone here, we've gone here, and now it's time for our wizard. As you can see, I'm not a master, um, a master at uh, stratagem. Okay, so I have my wizard, and my wizard says exchange positions with another player in range. Within range 8, huh? Hmm. I'm going to save this so that I can get my rogue running, and then... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my rogue running, and then next round I'll make it so that they can just fly across the football field. <laughs> I'll keep calling this the football field. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Just keep that to the side. Um, what I am going to do, though, is go one, two, three, four. Huh, one, two, three. I have three movement. Oh, but I can do one. So one, I can do diagonal for one move. It's, a, it's one of my talents here. So I can go one, two, three. I do that. He attacks the closest. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to attack the uh, MG3 right here. And mm, he's not that close. Oh, man. Well, Fireball is four range. So this is what we're going to do. I am about to use Fireball. Okay, Fireball is a blue die, which goes up to five attack, plus... When I have, I have ability called Wild Magic, and Wild Magic says, when I use it, um, I roll an initial another black die, and that adds on to the damage. So that's potentially like 10 damage. So I'm going to try to get this fire spell, fireball spell off and just try to absolutely destroy these guys. Hopefully it works. So this is going to be my attack. It is four range away. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to hit it right here in the middle. It's got an area of one attack, so everybody in this area so right here in the middle, everybody in that area. So it's even going to hit this guy right here. Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. I'm so excited when I get these things off. All right. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, so if you don't know, if you know me, I'm such a fan of like Final Fantasy Tactics. It's like this is like so in my wheelhouse, it scares me. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, they're all gone. Okay, so <laughs> they're all going to take some massive damage here. So I have my wizard. He is going to give... Uh, 10 damage to these guys. So I hit like here in the middle, and then that's going to be one range around. So yeah, this is pretty ugly. Roll additional damage for all area. Yeah, so this is 10. So this is going to kill this guy, definitely. Okay. That's also going to kill this guy, because that's 10 damage. So that's going to be 10 damage there. And that's also going to move, boy, we open up a football field. How about that, huh? And move it all the way back there. Okay, so he's going to refresh and come back there. That was W3. Yep, it was. Don't worry. It doesn't get easy because these guys can move. So don't, don't think it gets easy. Okay. How am I looking? How's everybody doing? Everybody's, how's everybody doing in the chat? Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, really excited about doing this. But he's going to refresh and come back there. That was Okay. Yeah, really excited about doing this. So if you're in the chat, just say, hey, what's up? I'd like to see all of you. Okay, so now the wizard has gone and blasted off an amazing attack that will be known for all of mankind. And, bro, now we have, oh, of course the wraiths move and make a basic attack. Of course they do. One, two, three, he's going to move up on me. Going to move up on me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this wraith right here is going to make an attack on me with a black die. I have... 11 health. We do not want to get hit. That's what we don't want to happen. Okay. Um, that's what we don't want to happen. We do not want a big hit. We want like ones. We do not want fives. Okay. <laughs> so we have no way to, to stop that damage. We are down to six health. All right. Um, so that's not good. Okay. So we're down to six health. But I'm not the childbearer. So I'm fine. Okay, and you know what that what also that means? I get to attack back. Okay, so let's see. Well, what if what we're doing is is by having that attack is we're kind of making a lane to fight with. 
And that's what we want. We will kind of want a lane to run. And I'm fine with like just having a little bit of freedom of movement. So I'm going to create that. And since uh, the rogue is the child bearer, he only has four health. What I'm going to do is for my first action, I'm going to take the child back, which I probably should. Well, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to make him invisible next round and then run. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I think I'm just going to attack this guy. So we're going to attack. Um, he has a regular attack of blue. Okay, so I'm just going to roll that with a potential of five, one to five. And then... I'm also going to, because I'm a Berserker, I mean, I'm a, I get to do a, an additional damage to adjacent character. All right, so that's going to be a total of six. He is going to beat this guy down. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, this you could not be a Barbarian this early in the game. Uh, you would have to go through three scenarios, two to level up to one and two um, fighter, and then you can eventually become a Barbarian in the third scenario. So just kind of give you an idea because this guy is super OP, but when you're playing against the boss and you're this guy, he's going to be so exposed and you're probably going to need someone to heal him because he's so powerful. Um, he or she, as you can see, you can actually play both. Switch it, yep. You can switch it, which is really cool. I usually play ladies because that's role playing. All right, there we go. And my second attack thing to do is I'm going to move. I'm actually going to... Yep, I'm going to move, and I'm going to move right up in these guys' face. One, two. Three. I'm going to move right up in his face. Basic move, all right? And that is a round. Okay, do I want to discard any cards? All right, do I want to discard any cards back here? Now, I can discard one card um, to move to basically before my hand goes back up at the end of the round. It's... It's like a shedding of cards. I'm not going to shed any cards. I'm actually going to take uh, just another set of cards here. Two hand, two cards here. Two cards in the middle. Ooh, I got my Mighty Strike back for the Warrior. And last two cards here for... Um, I got my Fireball again. So I got my second Fireball. That's great. All right. I think I messed up something here. Okay, no, I didn't. There we go. All right, we are shuffling. Every day we're shuffling. All right, so really excited to do these um, inside of the uh, solo gamers group. I think I put it in there for them. Uh, let me see here, make sure I got that over. But, yeah, let me make sure I got that over. Cause, I mean, these are like my folks. I love them. Uh, let's see. Let's send this to... Uh, Okay, we're going to send this to one more, a couple more groups. I know that would be very interested in checking this out. So I, um, all right, and let's see. We got some other ones here. Let's see. And let's go here. Okay. All right, so what are we doing? We are shuffling here for initiative. Okay. Wow, I get to go first like all the time, apparently, which is fine. With, what is it? Did I shuffle these? Okay. Yeah, I did. All right. It's okay. It's looking good. Now, here's the cool part. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be invisible for the round. So what this means is, is and this is where it gets real cool. All right. So I'm going to turn invisible like an assassin does, right? And when I do, I'm going to be invisible for the whole round. So they can't see me. But this is gone for the rest of this mission. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn invisible. Um, he is going to be, you know, super, super covert. Um, when I'm invisible, I can't be seen. I don't think I can attack either, honestly. So let me make sure, though. I don't think I can attack either. Invisible cannot be targeted by any actions, so are still affected by area effect attacks. Note, this also includes critical actions such as healing. So I can't be targeted. Okay, so I can't be targeted. And I go first. And I have movement, which is what I want to do. 
All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go one, two, three. I want to be able to move super fast, but I'm not far enough away. You may move one square at the end of your turn. Hmm. Lone Wolf, you are, if no other players are within three squares, yeah, I'm not going to be within three squares. I'm not going to be with outside of three squares of anybody. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move. I'm going to take my basic move, which is five. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to take my basic move, which is five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to discard to go up to my movement again. And I don't think that counts as a basic move, so I'm just going to move. One, two. And then at the end of my turn, I can move one more. So now I'm going to do that. And that way, are they within, anybody within four? Hold on a second. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then I move two more. One, two. I'm going to do that. And then at the end of my turn, I can move one square. So I'm going to go ahead and move that far. One, two, three, four. No, no, we want to do one that way. That way, nobody, they can't get to me at all. One, two, three, four. Oh, he can. Ah, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. And then I get to go one more. I'm just going to go all the way in the corner and hope to God that this does not trigger. Okay. You got to really hope. <laughs> you got to really hope. Oh, no. I don't want to do this. 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 Oh, oh God. I don't want to do it. Okay. What do I want to do? <laughs> I don't want to do that. I'm worried about that harasser. That's the problem. I'm really worried about that harasser right there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Huh. Well, I, I can't be seen this round. So, okay. I can't be seen. So, here we go. Why am I getting all afraid in my chest? This had to be right here. So, we have, had to be right here. One, two, three, four, five. That's my basic movement. I discard now for two. One, two. All right. And then, and then I get to move one more. So, I'm going to go ahead and move one more. That is my turn. Boy, oh boy, man. I like that all epic. There we go. I made that super epic, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> you know, like, kind of important, guys. All right, here we go. So now we have our boss. What is the boss doing? Here we go. Rafe's move, of course, right? So where are the Rafe's going to move? They're not going to move anywhere because they got one right here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so he's going to move up there. One, two, three, four. He doesn't know where we're at, so he's kind of moving up four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And that's it. Okay, so they're going to be there. This Rafe's going to attack here. This Rafe's going to attack there. So Rafe 1 is going to attack the wizard with a black die. And the wizard, unfortunately, has not got back to that deck. So it has two attack. All right, here we go. It says accessory. Reduce all. I have a shield over here. And by the way, like it's, um, when, you do, when you do finish these scenarios, you do get certain things back. So this one right here is a shield. Um, you would be able to use a shield in response to stuff, and then it goes into your deck, and then eventually you can play it again to your area, and that's one of your actions. So I'm not going to use this. I only took one damage. I'm down to seven. I can hack it. All right. Now we have an issue here. The Wraith is going to attack me. Hmm. Hmm. For one. Hey, I'll take it. Okay. So down to five. That's not good, though. I need to get back in that deck. That's the thing. I need to get back in my deck. Um, so I may have to start shedding cards so I can get out of this disc, this uh, draw pile here and get back into my discard pile. I want to discard cards. I got too many in my hand, uh, too many in my deck. And that's part of the choice that you make when you're leveling up. You're going to be able to add and subtract die from your deck. If it has this in here, you get to take a card out. So that's important. You want to try to shed your deck of all the bad cards and start to get good cards. So it says it's kind of a deck builder. Okay, so they've attacked. Now it's time for me to fight the powers that be. Here we go. 
So we've kind of got it where we're down to these wraiths, right? And we basically want to get these wraiths to where they go back to where they came from, right? So this one is going to be an irritant, but once it goes, it's going to go all the way back there, and it's got to start over. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and just start attacking these guys. Because if I attack, I attack wraith three, let's see. One, two, three. Mm. Yeah, okay. I was hoping, hoping for a... Uh... Mm. So here's the deal. I have Fireball again, and I would have to move away. So I would have to move like one, two away. And then I could attack this area right here, and that would attack everybody in that. And he's right here by, behind me. So I would basically attack an area and then do that. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and use that basic... I'm going to have to do this, so I'm going to have to do this, discard this so I can move half my movement, which is 2.5, which is 1, basically. I can only move 1, so I can only move 1. That gets me in the clear, though. So if I was standing right here, I'd hit my own self. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a fireball. I'm going to hit a certain target, and then I'm going to target everybody around it. So the target is going to be right here. So let's just say the guy is right there. He is right there. And I target here, and then everything around that in one square is going to be attacked, okay? And his attack, with his wild magic, not only gets... Hey, what did I just do? Okay, it gets a blue die for the fireball and also a black die. So this is a pretty devastating attack. Hopefully, we don't just roll ones, though. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't roll ones. Here we go. We rolled a lot. So these guys are all going to get their butts kicked because uh, the... The guy over there, he only has three, and he has four. So we're good to go. So the Wraith goes back. He only needed one hit point. This guy is gone, so now we're only dealing with Wraiths. And now we can just run for our lives and hopefully survive. Hopefully. All right. So there we go. Now we have our Barbarian. Okay, so now we got to hope. Now there's two cards left in this deck. If those cards, without a doubt, are, um, are harasser cards, goblin cards, that means nothing happens. So that'd be good. But if not, I have a really big issue here because these guys are going to kill me. But I'm not the child bearer, which is good. If I do die, I have a way of coming back. I have a couple of revive potions, so I just got to pay attention to that. All right? Not all is lost. Okay, so what are we going to do? All right, I have a couple things. Let's see, I have Rock Toss and I have Mighty Strike. So I could throw a rock at this guy that's right over here. So if I hit the four, he goes all the way back there. But why do I have a max potential of four? Hmm. I think I want to get right in the thick of it. I don't have a basic move. I could discard to move two spots. That wouldn't help me. All right. So, hmm. So I do have this rage ability. Hmm. Huh. I think I'm going to use the rage ability. So I'm going to attack. Hey. Let's see. So I'm bas basically I'm going to decide whether I... Hey, Mike, how you doing? Nice to see you, brother. Um, let's see. I'm basically, I'm going, to bas I'm going to decide to attack. And I'm going to attack this, this guy to my left, um, to the left of me. One, oh, boy. How, what's the distance on this? Three? One, two, three. So I can do that. He's here. Two, three. One, two, three. Mm. Uh, the range is rough, brother. The range is rough. All right. <laughs> the range is rough. Uh, let's see. So the range is rough. But, I mean, like, that's the thing. I have one. Okay. Yeah, I can hit him. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. Because range is not like a diagonal, and I always have to think about that. Range is like a, a, like a circle around you. Okay. So if I pick this point, range one is everything around it. 
range two, range three. It's kind of a, it's just a better way of doing it instead of being like in the middle of the square, da da da, da or the corner of the square. No, it's just circle around. I have to keep reminding myself that how easy it is. Okay, I can't attack that guy for three. I'm gonna attack W three with the uh, with the rock toss. Let's see how that goes. Because if I roll a four, and maybe I will, maybe I will. That'll save me a little bit. I rolled two. Okay, so he's going to get two. Okay, rock toss to four there. All right. And let's see. Rock toss four. Huh. And then everything else doesn't seem like I need it. That's the problem. I'm a little worried. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard this basic one here to move my speed divided by two. So I'm going to move that way. I'm just going to kind of try to block closest attack hero, whatever, right? Now, remember, I'm invisible. He's invisible, so they can't see me. They're not going to attack me. I'm their only two targets. So if we have something that happens, it's going to happen to them. Uh, here we go. Furthest wraith away from the child bearer moves adjacent to the child bearer. It makes a basic attack. All other race move. Goblin harassers take attack. So here's the deal. That thing does not know where I'm at. At all. It's invisible. It doesn't know. So it can't move near me because it doesn't know where I'm at, which is great. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Um, and please, designer, do not tell me I'm wrong because I'm not going to listen. All right. Here we go. Uh, I'm just going to use that little cheat to my advantage. Here we go. So I'm going to move, the, the, uh, it, it only says the, the furthest right away moves to an adjacent to the child bear. So we don't know where it's moving. So it's just going to move. One, two, it's going to box me in basically. So this is going to move in, this is going to move in, and then this is going to probably move like right there. Okay. It's a little sticky, but I know where they are. They're all basically adjacent to me on my right, my front, and my left. Okay. So they're moving to the closest hero, which would be me. Um, so they're going full core press. All right. So now I reappear. The round is over. Um, am I going to discard any cards? Um, yeah, I'm going to discard one card because what I want to do is I want to run. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and discard this basic one here. And then I'm going to take two more cards, three more cards, and go to my basic hand. Ooh, and I got some moves for him, so I'm good. I got moves for the rogue big time. That's a good thing. Okay, and I'm going to have to reshuffle my deck, which is good. Then I have... Let's see, one, am I going to discard any of these? Uh, no, I'm not. I want to make sure I have my, my warrior has some things going on. And then finally, I have to shuffle my deck for my wizard. Hopefully we get those nice, nice uh, flaming attacks again uh, so we can run for our lives as well. <laughs> we, want, we want to all make it to the end here. We don't want to, you know, oh, by the way, this, this moves too, sorry. One, two, three, four. Got to be. Got to be honest there. Okay, one, two. All right, what did he get? Yep, we got a fireball spell. Yay, okay. Okay, here we go. So new round, new initiative. I'm going to shuffle these back here. And I'm not cheating. I'm just shuffling. Here we go, I'll shuffle. I know you guys thinking I'm cheating. I'm not cheating back here. Okay, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> so, all right. So here we go. Thank you all once again for joining me in the stream today. Uh, I'm really thankful for your time. I know this campaign is halfway through, but I love this game. I can't honestly, I can't hide it. Um, if people ask me about it, I always make sure they know. Okay, so now we got a real big issue. We have a very, very big issue. This cannot be a wraith. If it's a wraith, I'm screwed. All right. I'm screwed. This may be the end of the scenario. Oh, please don't be a wraith card. <laughs> All right. <laughs> please don't be a wraith card. All right. Oh, God. The suspense. Boss card goes first. Wraith card. No. Wraith move and attack. Basic attack. All right. So now, <laughs> the absolute worst thing happened. All right, so now the racer is just going to take turns attacking me. So let's see here. We have one, two. He's going to move there. One, two. He's just going to move over here. 
and one, two. He's just going to move there. He can't even get there. He's going to attack me. Move and make basic attacks. Here we go. Gosh, I wish there was an attack back that I had. Uh, I wish I was able to move. Uh, here it is. I have four health. We're looking to maybe keep it to one. We got one now. That's one to one health. All right. Here we go. Come on. The child bear can't die, otherwise I lose the scenario. This is why I'm... That's it right there. Boom. Okay. I had a move. I had a move. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I died. The child bear cannot die in this scenario. But what I'm going to show you is, and I'm going to just mulligan this thing so you can get an idea of how the scenario would finish. All right? I'm going to go ahead and... I, I've lost the scenario. Okay? But I'm going to play the rest of it. I'm going to use what's called a, um, you get a revive potion. So if any other player would have died in this scenario, um, they can be revived. And you have three of these. You roll a die, you remove a, a certain amount of cards, and then that's, that's kind of like you're, you're burning out of your deck in a sense. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm down. The child bearer is down. And what I'll do is, is I'll, lay, I'll lay him down. Okay? I'll lay him down, and he's down. Okay, and now we'll do it like this instead. Since he's down and they, they attacked him, um, the wraiths are going to move towards him. This wraith is probably going to move towards. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he attacked him. He's dead. And then he's going to move and attack him like that. He's going to move one, two, three, four. All right, it's a little sloppy, but he gets there. I'm just doing it so you can see the top-down version. What is the top-down version, you say? Here it is. All right, that's the top-down version. So I don't want to show you that the whole time, but I was like, ah, I'll show you a little bit, okay? Um, just to kind of get an idea. Once again, party people, these boards that you see um, here in the middle and, like, right here, all this stuff, it is so prototype because they have on the Kickstarter page um, where you can see the actual gameplay. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the actual game boards in action, they look really, really nice um, where they are. Hate to go full promo, but I really, I really believe in this project. I'm really excited about this project. But let's go ahead and get to getting killed. All right, so uh, for as far as the road goes, we are going to roll the die. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Oh, sorry. He's out of, well, that's during his turn, so he's out. Sorry, he's out. Okay, so the other guy is going to roll a black die here. The um, Wraith over here, I forgot. Once he's out, he's like out until it's his turn. Okay, so he rolls and he takes one damage. Okay, and then uh, right here. And he has five health, so we are, she has five health. We cannot have, oh my God, she goes down too. Frazier goes down, Frazier goes down. All right, so she goes down. Oh, my God. Ugh. Okay, so she's going to go down. Okay, so she's going to go down, and her, one of her actions, so that's it for them. For her action, she is down. So for one of her actions, she will have to roll this die. And we'll heal half her max, and she will have to get rid of three, five cards. So it says, when used, heal to the half the maximum HP, which was 17, so eight uh, yeah, half of maximum HP. So I'm going to go with a, a 9, 17, so 9. All right. And then it says roll a die and remove that many cards randomly from your deck until um, it, until you, you hit that amount. So I had 5, unfortunately. That's a lot of cards from my deck. That is a lot of cards. Oh, my jeez, that's a lot of cards. Oh, that's a lot of good possible cards in my hand. Oh, my God. All right. These all go back in here. Oh, my God. Uh, do you understand how devastating this is? Oh, my goodness. Hopefully I played that right. I haven't actually really died that much. Not died too much. 
I always seem to die on this one, though. When I do die, I always seem to not make the child, child bearer maker like, like I did today. So I'm just going to, like I said, just move forward so you get an idea how this works. So I'm going to resume one, two, three, four, five. And that is going from the fighter's deck for the rest of this scenario. So one, two, three, four. All right. Little little uh, shave down deck. That's not good. Okay. So for that was one of their actions. And I think it is one of their actions to revive. Revive. Um, players knocked out. Resources in the counter. If ever opponent is knocked out, he has no more revive potions in it. If you begin turn your turn with zero, you may choose to use the revive potion to heal half max. All right, draw up. Once you revive, your remainder that you have used. Okay, yeah, that's it. Like you just revive, and then I can go. I don't have to actually use my uh, use an action there. So what I'm gonna do? I don't really have anything to attack with, so that's not fun. So I'm going to just attack the guy in front of me, which is, no I'm not, I'm going to move and attack uh, number four. So I'm going to get number four out of the way. So we're going to move first, to do the basic move, and I'm going to move over here like that, and then I'm going to attack number four. That'll put him all the way back there. So I'm going to go ahead and use two red die uh, for a slowed. I don't want slowed anyway, I just want to take him out. So here we go. I just had to make sure because I didn't want to get the rule wrong, but of course they may kill me. So that's six damage. It only has four, so he's out. Okay, so he's out, and he goes all the way back here because Wraiths really just keep coming. All right, they're like these things that kind of keep coming at you. Now I got to go score a touchdown literally with my character. All right, so that's that very dramatic turn, which was not cool. All right, now my rogue is in a situation. Rogue has to run. Rogue run. That's that's my theme for rogue right now. Is rogue is run. And running meaning I want to take a basic move. Now here's the deal. With his move, he's got this thing, it's called Lone Wolf. If no other players are within three squares of you, two three squares of you, you get to take two basic moves. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how far I can get away from everybody else. But first, but first, oh, but first. Oh man. But first, here we go. He has to be picked back up. He is the child bearer. So I'm going to shuffle these back behind the scenes here. I'm going to roll a die. We only have two of these, so um, I'm going to roll a die. Hopefully we roll low here. We roll three. So I'm going to take these cards and shuffle them. And I'm going to remove one, two, three. Okay, so here we go. Those three are gone. And now I'm going to get my hand back. One, two, three, four. This is what I got. What did I say goodbye to? Ooh, I said goodbye to a lot of stuff. Okay. Hopefully I have some movement. I do have one set of movement here. Okay, so he's back up. He's back up right. Urgh. One, two. Does that put me three squares away from everybody? Let's see. One. If I do, he's got five movement, so I would be able to move one. One, two. Hmm. One, two. One, two. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to discard my card. I'm going to discard a card to move away. It's going to be a it's going to be a basic attack card. So when I do that, I can do half my movement, which is five, round it down, which is two. So I'm going to go one, two. Now, I'm three squares away from everybody. So you know what time it is. It's football time. So I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to do a basic move. And once again, my skill says if there's no other characters within three squares of you, you may take two basic moves. My two basic moves make it so I can move ten. All right. So here we go. My basic move is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right there. All right. I feel like I cheated there. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, there we go. Ten. All right, I got the baby. I got the baby. Here we go. That's my move. Okay, so now I was hoping to play a little catch. I don't think the wizard took his attack. I feel like I didn't do that. I feel like I missed this. Hmm. Did I roll for that wizard? get hit. 
I don't think I did. Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, because he hit the rope. That's right. Okay, so that is his turn. So as you can see, I'm getting very close to uh, running the touchdown here. Although I have technically lost. Here we go. And now I have the wizard. The wizard has the following cards. Let's see. So he has exchange with another position of another character, which is really cool. So that basically means I can just, you know, like flip back to where they are. But I don't really have, you know, anything that's really that potent that's worth that. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to attack two people. Here we go. So I'm going to go range. I'm going to go ahead and attack this guy. So, oh no, that will put him right by me, huh? Hmm. I don't want to attack this guy. Because if I kill him, number three, he'll go back there. And then he'll be able to attack him from there. So that, that stinks, huh? But this time, if I lose, I only get two of these. So I, if I lose, I only get, um, I'm going to lose, actually, I lose the scenario twice. So I kind of want to lose it twice. Yeah, I don't want to lose it twice. So we're just going <laughs> to, we're going to go ahead and uh, try to, try to cheat win this one. Because that's kind of what I was going for, basically, because I didn't win. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm doing that too easy. Oh, I, I get three of these. I actually have one more. So, yeah, let's let's uh, let's go for it. Okay, let's just go for it. Okay, so I'm gonna attack this guy right next to me. Yeah, let's just let's just go for it, Jeremy. Please, I'm being like I've already lost. So why don't I just play like I lost? Here we go. <laughs> All right, look at that. Boom, killed. All right, so he's gone. Shoot my fireball, like my fire at him, or whatever wizard thing I'm shooting. And then I am going to do that again. So I'm going to shoot at this guy. So I'm going to roll uh, number two. I'm going to roll that again. You see that one had a five on it. Let's go ahead and get another one. Boom. Let's go ahead and kill them all. Let's just kill them all. Urgh. Aggro wizard. Okay. <laughs> aggro wizard. Um, yeah. So aggro wizard wins. Okay. So now we have boss, which, which we don't know. We got to shuffle these. All right. Let me come back here. We are... A little bit over time. And you know what? We are changing it in the bonus. This one, just other characters needed to be on the final tile instead of having to cross into the end zone. Oh! Ooh, it is. That's more achievable. <laughs> That's so much more achievable. Keep in mind. Um, okay. All right. We did reset them close to the stage. Okay, yes, I did. I, I realized that. And this is not good, right? So what uh, I'm just seeing this designers in the chat now, and I'm thinking to myself, like, yeah, I kind of I kind of made it so now they're kind of boxing them in. And I, that basically means that I would have to, without a doubt, have two moves to just make space. And I would have to have a luck of the draw. So here we go. Luck of the draw. Luck of the draw. No race. No race. Yes, no race. Okay, so <laughs> so the Goblin Thrashers have come up. So the, the, there's no Goblin Thrashers or Goblin Champions. We don't have to worry about them. We're good to go. Okay, that was the last. That was the last of this. Okay, so we're going to shuffle these up. I'm going to because um, you probably probably thinking like, man, this dude back here cheating. Okay, I, I, I could be. You're right. I could be. All right, so. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle those up. First thing I'm going to do is get my cards. All right, so I am not going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of one card here so my rogue can possibly get movement cards. I only got one. Uh, let's see. I'm going to draw two cards back here from my, my, my fighter here. And the fighter, the barbarian, he got extra attacks. And uh, once again, like I said, I've, I've kind of buffed up things so you can see what they look like and partially because um, my strategy is terrible okay all right here we go so now we are to initiative order here we go keep in mind here we go we are going to start doling this out all right the rogue gets to go first baby oh the fighter is second oh this is this is like perfection okay this is perfection okay 
The problem is, you're talking two movements. Okay, they have a max movement of four. They can get to me pretty quickly. So I really have to pay attention to how far I can get. And I got to map this out so that I can really have a chance. It's not going to work out well regardless. But, actually no, it is. Because I'm three away, which means I can move two basic moves with one card of movement. This is good. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, uh, the rogue is first, and the rogue seems to have been first this entire game. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's do this. Um, the basic move. Um, I'm going to do the basic move, and this is once again, it's called Lone Wolf. And I'm probably, Nicholas probably looking at this and going, dude, you can't be an assassin in like the second scenario. Well, I made it that way. So there you go. If there are no other characters within three squares of you, you may move, make two basic moves whenever you play a basic move card. So my movement is five, and that means I can move ten. So I'm going to really try to run for this touchdown, which is going to be here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Boom. I'm running for the touchdown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't forget the baby. Bing. All right. <laughs> Don't forget the baby. All right. So took the baby and ran. Okay. Touchdown. All right. So that's a touchdown. That's the scenario. I have one, I fake one, I lost, <laughs> and I ran again. Um, I made some of the mistakes I, I did when I played last time, which, of course, is not handing off the baby at the right times um, between the characters because it is a very strategic game. So I just want to let you know that. But now I want to talk about some of the things that happen post-game. Okay, So we're going to talk about two things that are major that happen post-game. And this is, I mean, if there's a selling point to the game other than the fact that it's being strategic, and as you can see, it's not very easy to play, um, as far as strategy goes, I'm just going to talk to you just a little bit. And this is, when I say tiny spoilers, this is just to show you how things play out. Okay, so let me bring you a little bit closer in here so you can see this. Make sure we get a good angle for you. All right, you look at my screen right here. This is, this is exactly what you, you want to know. Like, hey, how much, what's in here? What am I looking at here, right? All right, so let me see if I can get it close enough where you can kind of read a little bit with me. All right. So I'm just going to, I'm going to do that. I don't want you to see too much. All right. I just don't want you to see too much. Okay, so what happens is, and I'm just not, I don't want you to see too much. So what happens at the end of this, you will receive some kind of loot. And it will tell you what to add to your box. So, like, you're going to have boxes for your equipment, uh, for your characters, like you have tuck boxes for things that you're going to earn, and you're also going to have to divide loot. Sometimes there will be certain loot in there that will, you know, like you'll have a pool of loot to choose from depending on character count, and it'll say, hey, you got to figure amongst yourselves what kind of loot you want, okay? Who's going to get what? Or there may be one, you need to choose who, where it goes. You're also going to have items that get added to the market. So there's going to be certain things that you will be able to put in the market, um, the ones you don't choose are the ones that are drawn. They go into a market and they can be bought later. Okay, not going to touch too much on that. That's another part of the game. Okay, then you also have the advancement, and we'll talk about it in a minute. But you also have things for when you complete the bonus objective and the regular objective. So if I got everybody up across the field, and then you also have things where you just get the regular objective. You also have things that happen when you fail, because the game does keep going forward in a sense, depending on what the scenario is. But I'm going to leave that part right there and talk about leveling up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just take my wizard, for example. So let's say, and like I said, I've already kind of leveled this stuff up for you. I'm going to move all this out of the way. We'll just kind of do the wizard only here. Just move them out of the way. Okay. Move them out. This is my wizard. Okay, I'm going to level my wizard up here. So my wizard is level 2. Okay, so you start out with a starter wizard, and he's going to have health 6. You eventually add 8 health. So now you add 2, he has 8 health. When I reach level 2, I, I could take a card out of my deck or take a basic card. This right here is my dice effect that I got, which is Wild Magic, which was awesome because it added a black die. And then I also had the things that were added in my starter deck. This is part of how I built my starter deck. Now, I have a couple different choices. Let's take a look. So, I can go to level 3 of Wizard. Okay, there's, I think there's 5 levels of each. 
So I can just keep powering up wizards, getting these cool wizard card powers and things like that. Or I could choose, you know, I should probably pan out a little bit. Let me see. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it. I'm, I can't see the way you can see. Okay, or, okay, I can move up and say now I'm a level 2 wizard. Now I can change my class to a necromancer because now I'm a level 2 wizard. So I can switch to necromancer. And of course, if you don't know what necromancers do, they raise the dead and make minions or whatever. Or I can say, all right, so I'm a level 2 wizard. Maybe I just want a multi-class. So then maybe I'll become an archer. Okay, so I'll become, I'm sorry, or an archer. So I'll become a wizard and an alt archer, or a wizard and a fighter. So I'll be a wizard and a fighter, and then if I become a wizard and a fighter, I may eventually become a dark knight. So I kind of have to choose what paths I want to be on, uh, and then kind of get to that elite class. Then once I get to the elite, uh, the elite class, then I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm that person, like I'm that thing for the rest of this, this uh, scenario. So it's a really cool like little combination system. You can multi-class. But then you become this big specialized class and get all these cool cards. Speaking of cool cards, I'm going to pull this out right here so you can see how, how big this is. Now I'm going to pull this back up. Now, I didn't cover a lot of different things that happened because certain quest cards go in there and you got like different events that happen. You got um, just, all, just all kinds of features and things like that. I can't, I just can't spoil it all. But so yeah, you have um, just kind of. My, mine is unorganized, so please don't, don't use me as an example. So <laughs> don't use me as an example. So as your characters gain classes and different things, they go up in rank. Oh, Lord. What a way to end the stream. Um, you're going to have all these different cards that tell you like what happens as you gain the levels. Okay, so you got all different stuff. For example, like Paladin, um, you're going to have these different levels, as you can see. Necromancer, Monk. Oh, boy. Monk. Juicy. All right, so you got all this stuff. So they can level up pretty high. You also have, and I'm just not going to spoil much, but there are different bosses in the game. I'm going to show you one. All right, so you saw the Goblin Harasser. That's all I'm going to show you. All right, so there's actually, like, he's a boss, but there's some other really cool ones in there. But I think that's actually not, I don't want to spoil all that stuff. Uh, but I'll just say that there's you can level up your cards and your deck and you can scrap your deck in certain spots All right So I'm gonna leave that there because I don't want to start spoiling everything Because uh, <laughs> I can start getting getting a little loose with the mouth there and start talking So let me go ahead and switch you back over uh, So yeah, that is Basically adventure tactics um, This game is on Kickstarter right now um, Yeah, it's it says, are there plans for high-level campaigns? Yeah, I'm not sure. But, yeah, there is so much stuff in here that I can't tell you everything. Otherwise, I'd be, like, just blowing the whole fun of the campaign off. But, like, there's a lot to do. You have a lot of choices. Um, you can get up to level, I think, 10. So you got a lot of stuff that you can do in this game. You know, three, four, five hours, just kill it. And, uh, yeah, they, they got a lot of plans. I, I don't even know all of it, so just go ahead and take a look at the Kickstarter page. Um, I've just been kind of waiting to see what happens when this box arrives, but I'm going to be playing the heck out of this already. Uh, this is one of those rare prototypes that I don't get rid of, and I just play. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I hope this helped you make an informed decision, as I always tell people in my previews. Hopefully this may helps you make an informed decision. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. If you have any questions, go ahead and just, you know, give me a holla. You can find me anywhere. Jerry from Jambalaya Plays Games. You can join our community page. And, uh, once again, thank you so much for your time. Um, and have a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Oh, by the way, thanks so much to Leapman Games for uh, sponsoring me and uh, doing this video. But, man, <laughs> they don't need to sponsor anything. This game is awesome. So, this is like so Final Fantasy Tactics me, and I love it. So, all right, take care, party people. You guys have a wonderful day.